Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. What's good? This is the 6'2 Stallion, Thoroughbred Nigerian, Riccio Fanchulo. Judge y'all. This is your boy Young Zeke, aka the Verbal Shotgun, aka Trust Me, I'm a Doctor. I deliver truth like I deliver babies. Uh, but I don't deliver babies. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome back to episode five of Fix It in Post. Um, we are definitely working on uh, fixing this whole SoundCloud issue. In fact, we're probably going to transition to YouTube. Yeah, and hopefully that works out a lot better than uh, than this stupid SoundCloud. SoundCloud has not been doing us right. What am I paying you guys for? Me? Somebody in the room had a things. brilliant idea that hey, I didn't. Hey, that hey, wasn't hey, occurred. Hey, 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 speak when spoken to. You can't. Oh. You can't. You can't talk yet. <laughs> they don't know who you are. You speak can't talk. I don't know why she's lady. jumping in. <laughs> can, we, can we mute her? Okay, back we to, can actually. Okay, back to her. my scolding. Okay, you guys need to get on top of this SoundCloud thing and get it fixed. Okay. The abuse I endure. Thank you. We're not gonna listen to you. Because you obviously are not getting on the SoundCloud thing and get it fixed. I know. Okay? Amazing. Nonetheless, we are going to work on that. Get iTunes up and going. I, in fact, I think by the time you hear this episode, you will be able to listen to episode one through five. By you will also grace. be able to hear it on iTunes as well as YouTube. So, um, FIIP Podcast on Twitter. Of course, FIIP Podcast at Gmail. Uh, what is it? Email us, man, with questions, yeah. thoughts, you know, comments, tweet us, pictures, us. pictures. We take it all. Chooks, how are you doing, sir? Man, it's been a week. It's been a as if it's week. been a long time. How how you been, man? I've been very well, man. You know, same old, same old. Work, <coughs> work, family, family, drinking, and drinking in that order. I'm a simple man. Simple Finally, in thoughts. we got to order. Simple in thoughts. Yes. And simple in in actions too. So you know, work, family, all. drinking. Nothing special, man. Good for you. Zeke, man, what's good, man? Man, uh, everything is good, man. Life is life is good right now. Uh, still working hard, grinding. Just Chai. trying to make things happen, man. Chai, yeah. Working hard, grinding. Just grinding. Grinding trying to make things happen. You don't have any... You obviously don't have... Well, what's good with the... Uh, Dark, uh, Dark Forest. Forest <laughs> the man. porn movie he's shooting, man. <laughs> like, give us some it's, updates on that. What's up with shot, the porn? shot um, we're editing right now, so... He's fixing it in once, post. Once we, we are literally fixing it in post. Mm. Um, once that's complete... We'll definitely put the link up and uh, add it to our upcoming Facebook page. Yes. <laughs> and our um, YouTube. <laughs> so, yeah. We'll link it on the FIIP. Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. Wow. It's 20th century. Ballers. <laughs> 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 uh, that's what's up, man. We look forward to, to hearing that or seeing that, watching that. Um, I've been uh, working on trying to get this uh ep together yeah both for my solo project as well as for survive the fall which survive is the band the i play fall. in we are working on the ep so I'm, I'm working on mixing that right now hopefully i'll get both of those out to you within the next month or so so stay tuned for that we gotta stop um, we gotta start start um putting some survivor or, or some music on on the podcast you know using it for survivor. intros for uh some oh, of the survive survive the songs. fall yeah yeah I yeah, we gotta start doing that. Playing Destiny's Child up in let's, uh, <laughs> let's uh, introduce. That's just me. Introduce the people. Let's introduce the people to survive the fall. I think that's yeah. a good idea, man. Yeah, it's a good idea. Mm. Let's. Uh, Not bad. Good for you guys. Let's consider that once in a while. Uh, well, as you all heard, we have a we have a special guest in the building today. We have a Spoiler. guest. We have a guest in the building. Sorry. Okay, let's not just throw the word special around. Okay, okay. we have we a have guest. guest. We, we have a we guest in the building. Special yet? We'll find out. Exactly. She By the end of this podcast, weren't, you guys can let us know. Trying, weren't they trying to replace you last time? Mm. I think so. You know, let's not live think, in the past, special okay? things don't get replaced. Let's not live in the past. <laughs> 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 I think hey. you guys can tell this is going to be a back and forth <laughs> podcast between Chooks and Miss Stephanie M. Gandhi. Miss SMG, what's good? SMG. Hey, how's it going, guys? Uh, Here on the show. Yes. <laughs> Real talk. <laughs> 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 For those of you who don't know, Stephanie is the one who um, hooked us up with our graphic. Yes. So we are definitely appreciative of that. It's a and lot of dreadlocks in that. Yeah, this man. is the bribe. The bri- is it Welcome bribe? to your bribe oh. for the yeah. amazing graphic. You know, yeah. I've gotten a lot more. I need to erase yeah. someone with a big head that doesn't have dreads. Kind of. <laughs> that sounds like uh, <laughs> it's one not of me. these things <laughs> just doesn't belong here. You know, one of these. 
when you say words like that, <laughs> people's <laughs> feelings get hurt. Feelings. Yeah. Feelings. <laughs> feelings. You should post about it on Facebook. Feelings. Maybe in capital letters. Wow. Mm. Okay. Wow. I think she listened to last week's episode. Okay, as well. guys, I'm, I'm going to move that we strike <laughs> the guest from this. <laughs> <laughs> Special or not. Someone's not strong enough to handle it. Oh my mm. God. Yeah. This is, yeah. Oh you, my call, you asked for this. Oh, wow. You asked for okay. this. Stephanie, man, welcome to the welcome to the show, man. Tell Thank us a little you. bit about yourself. Obviously, you uh, you hooked us up with the graphics, so I I believe you're an, you're an artist, right? You believe correctly. Circles. Thank you. Yeah, I am an artist specializing in painting and drawing. I don't know. You sculpture. I like sculpture too. Is that right? I do heads. Like I did this guy's. You do no, heads it's huh? completely. Whoa. It sounds horrible. Pause. Wow. Pause. Oh, this is her words. <laughs> or don't mind. pause. Well, it's no, not I, pause. I I, I it constructed. Is pause. First of all, heads. I know I'm in a room full of males have multiple heads they're working with but i um Let's sculpted this, this <laughs> human head i'm gonna go ahead and continue to talk. Yes, yes i sculpted this human head out of clay and i called him callum it's an irish name um but he was basically going through a struggle of like drug addiction and people kept on thought like they thought he was swallowing his eye but you Hold can on. check it out it's on my instagram sculpture it was sculpture Thank and he's you. going through drug withdrawals it was a sculpture of a person struggling Normally, art is left up for interpretation, but some people with lower goes. IQs can't process that. Mm. So, anyway, Ooh. I am I also going to be a student at the University of Minnesota. Coming yes. back Round after quite some time. Go first. Woo-woo. Round of applause. Go first. So. And um, working full time. So, yeah, we're getting this in while I can. I'm still above water breathing. Do you uh, mm. do you sell or or give any of your art away? Like, if people wanted to get a piece from you is that possible uh you gotta wait look. six years i don't know why <laughs> 12 you, or, yeah yeah 12 you have to wait to it 12 years. <clears> that to sounds be, like a it, yeah. yeah that sounds like but a reese got one in the experience. he got Sounding one in like the first month that i knew him yep L- the lion painting i'm reese yeah mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm reese i'm reese so um, hey so about the striking the guest thing <laughs> <laughs> you got your painting i don't know Did why you you're second? talking <laughs> I'm, I'm almost seconding mm-hmm. we'll see really i will come and take it off your wall thank you go ahead Mm-hmm. No, um, yeah, that's pretty much what I do. Start school in the day after Labor Day. It's looming over my head. Yes. So, um, but I'm I'm excited. It should be good. Give people your uh, Instagram so they can go out there and uh, check out your your work. You can uh, check me out. I graded on a curve. You do have to add me because I have uh, a private account because I have a stalker in Atlanta. I'm I wish I was kidding, but I do. Um, but <laughs> I have a private Ragged. account, so you have to add me. But I have really amazing work on there, a zillion pictures of my niece and nephew because I love them dearly, and uh, just my life. So, yeah. I can attest to her work, man. She's definitely a, definitely a gifted artist, and it's uh, it's good to have you here on the show. Man. Um, so, I think we, we, at this point, we just jump in. You are you lucky, lucky bastard. bastard. Yes. This week's unlucky bastard is another name that's difficult to pronounce, but his luck is, or lack thereof, is still ever present. Um, his name is Kostis Mitsotakis. He's Greece. He's what about Greece. the sound? He's, he's, he's Greece. Greece. So he's the country Greece. Yep. He, he's, he's the country Greece. He's a citizen of Greece. He's Greece. Wow. <laughs> the reason why <laughs> Greece is falling, man. Like the John Travolta movie. Greece the reason why oh, that yeah. Costas is this week's unlucky bastard is he lives in a tiny vi- village of Sodeto. Mm-hmm. And in so Greece. this is he in Greece. Sodeto? This uh no, it's actually in Spain. Mm. So this city, this little tiny village, it's a farming village. Um so they all contribute like every month for a big lottery that they have in Spain called El Gordo or the fat one. Mm-hmm. So, so there's a council in that town that goes door to door, basically collecting the funds for them to buy this ticket. So they collect the funds and they play their numbers and the town ended up winning 980 million dollars you're fucking kidding me that the town you're won. lying everybody's excited jumping in the street everybody's geeked yes just <laughs> pandemonium they're champagne gonna get, everywhere they're everywhere. gonna share that Shit. everybody yeah, the whole the whole town shares it like people are people are like 
this. Clothes. I'm going to buy this. Schools Everybody's get excited. Laptops, Bands iPads. and make her dance. Amazing. Costas nice song. is the only one that is unhappy. Uh-oh. What did Costas Milanakis do? He's from the, Greece. As the he is Greece. council was knocking on the doors, they forgot to knock on his door. So he was the only citizen of the town that didn't have the opportunity to purchase the ticket. They just forgot to knock on, knock on, on his door. door. Gee, yeah. Oh, That's again, the worst. he's the only one. Every single unlucky bastard episode proves one thing. What's that? Witchcraft is real. <laughs> <laughs> How do you miss a door, guys? Witchcraft. How do you miss a door? It's witchcraft. It has to be witchcraft. And to and, and this at this point in this guy's life is just another point in the in the unlucky category. Sorry. He moved to the town specifically for a woman. Oh, oh no. And him why and the woman everyone's oh no. Oh, him and goodness. the woman broke up. That that's why it's the oh no. So the guy's in the town uh, and it's it's her for a woman and he, nobody says he's broken not, up. Nobody said anything about oh, wait, 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 stop the story. All the, all stop the, the, stop the, 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 the story. Stop the story. Oh no, he didn't get his cut of nine hundred and eighty million, but he moved there for a woman. No, the oh no of nine eighty is is even worse. That's the power worse. Please write them on their Facebook. Tweet them and say, oh no, a woman. Go ahead. Continue. Well, so when you well, move. Nothing. This is my ass like we, like we hate women. Oh, we, it's not, we, we adore women. You understand that, right? Adult Adoration. Okay. 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 Adore. Okay. 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 I'm going to finish the segment. So it, it wasn't all bad news for the guy. The guy had been trying to sell a piece of land for a while. <laughs> so <laughs> after, yeah. after the lottery winnings were Somebody announced, sure. yes. one of his neighbors... Offered, yeah, they, offered him money for the land. You got a line for sale, man. And then the guy is like the ultimate nice guy. Another neighbor counter offered and Shy. increased the amount. Yes. But the guy gave it to the first person. So Costas. Costas. Is, yeah. He, so he decided to take the lower amount. Because that was the first one that he, what he got. What adult. <laughs> but, <laughs> so what he ended up, he's making, he made a documentary about his experience. In the man has no money to make documentaries. <laughs> this is how, this is how he has this thing. <laughs> Honestly. Uh, It'll so, go to Sundance, though. His neighbors need to keep playing, I got money to blow, <laughs> get it in. Just right beside him. That's what I'll play all right. night, man. Even at night, two in the morning. Uh, uh-oh, uh-oh. For uh-oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's just, it's just bad luck that he just, they forgot to nah, knock man. on his door. It's nah, there, there's, there, 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 I think there should still be some. For what? What do you mean for what? If if they know he's a citizen of the town, he didn't pay. The guy, he, didn't he didn't buy the tickets. He didn't buy the, he didn't buy the tickets. Uh, he didn't buy the lottery tickets. So he didn't, he didn't put in his own money. In, but he was yeah. the only one. The only he's one. The only in one. Oh no! Costas. Costas. Oh my gosh! <laughs> so Costas. Oh my gosh! You are this you week's unlucky bastard. You know what? First of all, just just do not take this. my. Oh my gosh! Go somewhere with it. Thank you. Don't. We're having technical issues. <laughs> no, we're not having technical issues. These two are arguing. We weren't arguing. Okay, can you guys shut up? Let me wrap this up, I the segment. I did not say anything. Don't put this on me, you guys. Stop okay. him. This week's unlucky bastard, Costas. Costas. Whatever your last name is. Say it again. The Grease. <laughs> Costas the Grease. the Grecian. No, 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 the Grecian. Guy, it's the just the Grease. Grease. Yeah. You are you lucky are bastard. <laughs> you know, Mitsokatakis. Mitsokatakis. You know what's Whatever. unfortunate about that? Yeah. Story is the blatant disrespect and and lack of courtesy to knock on this guy's door and let him know the guy he probably pays his taxes <laughs> he probably does he probably is a good citizen votes amen brother goes to the town hall meetings oh i forgot to tell you he probably lives, goes to church he, he lives in a barn now he lives. He <laughs> lives in a barn. A that, 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 that he's Nothing wrong with a he barn. He wanted to guy. make the documentary more <laughs> like interesting, so he moved into a barn. That's he, that's whack. <laughs> this so, is this is this is very. This I like is, barns. This is very. What's your beef with barns, guy? I have no hey. beef. With, I have no beef with barns. But Fucking what I horses. have what I have a beef with is how much people, especially in this example, or not all, not especially, but even in this example, were very had a lack of courtesy to to. Knock true. on the guy's door. The town should have realized that, you know, the guy would have bought a ticket. Let's go ahead and just hook him up. But you, yes. but you said yeah. he was new. He he just moved there. It was a brand new thing. Did they even recognize him? It'd be different if you're like, I know Reese. I know Chucks. I know Zeke. I come to the house all the time. I've had their fried chicken, their jollof rice, blah, blah, blah. We've had RGs. And then they're like, oh, who's this guy? No one even knows him. 
I guess he maybe he's not home. That's 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 real. It could that's be that they didn't even. That's, so that, that's incompetence then, because if you see a dog, you knock on the fucking door, right? You could walk down the street. Does, <laughs> I, does, I, does he live in the cave? Does he live in like a? Does he live off the beating? No, park? he lives in a barn. Remember? But I I think no, it, it leads does. itself to a be, a bigger argument that yes, are we as humans are we losing that common courtesy that we've we're supposed to have and like we've been ingrained to be nice to each other? Actually, are we losing that? Biological to be nice. Is it? Our bodies, Survival. Our bodies re- react to us yes. being more, nice. More biology lessons Ser- from Serotonin, is released. Serotonin is released when you Go do ahead. nice things. It's what makes you feel good when you volunteer. It's what makes you feel good when you do serotonin. So science. what about those who I mean, are... I we, mean, we, we scientists. We're not artists like you, but, you know, we know these things. Not so what about... can be amazing. It's okay. What about those who are, are blatantly rude? Like Stephanie, you were telling me a story like today. Exactly. That, good, good, good. <laughs> <laughs> great segue. Great, great good segue. segue. <laughs> golf, golf clap. Golf clap. No, no more. <laughs> you were telling me a story today about um, you were trying to park at the U or something like that. I was well. First of all, the first time I was at the U, I was like pretty terrified because I got towed like three times in three weeks because it was one of those like you're 19 and don't understand parking. Wow. Rules when you grow up in South Dakota. Ageist. Um, is it ageist? Okay, whatever. So anyway, um, so when I go to the U, I have to go get my school ID, and I'm sitting there in the like U card office, fretting the entire time because Why? I paid the meter. But the problem was the like sign for the parking spots. There's two. Is directly in the middle of the line that differentiates what spot goes to what. Oh. It's in the middle, so I don't know if the the sign is talking to my parking spot or talking to the other parking spot. But there's a meter, and the, and the sign says 15 minutes only, and I'm pretty sure that this U-card process is going to take more than 15 minutes. Needless to say, it was a little bit, um, like, heart-wrenching, anxiety-wrenched, um, crazy, thinking that I'm going to get towed. Because if anybody has been on campus at the University of Minnesota, they know. They love They to love tow. to tow people. They love, they love you can, more you than can just sit there the waiting for the bus and watch, like, four or five tow trucks go they by with some... It. Some college student will have mommy and daddy pay for their tow, oh you know, take gosh. it to the impound. And yep. I am not the person that my mommy or daddy is going to come save me. I am a responsible adult. And I'm, like, terrified, waiting for all these, like, fresh out of the womb freshmen getting their U-card, laughing and joking about it. And I'm like, can you hurry the hell up? Because I'm terrified that my car is going to get towed in this parking spot. Right? It's not their fault. But I'm saying there's, like, a certain amount of, like anxiety that goes when it comes to parking your car and people just don't get that so you can go to the you can go someplace else and people park like assholes like when they take two two spots at the uh oh my god i did that at costco you know when costco is like extra not not, not even costco let's say you're you're downtown st paul and you find free parking for some reason that's a miracle and you see a guy who parks in two fuckers like he he doesn't on the line he, he doesn't push up on the car in front of him he parks like Right in the middle. There's, you can feel a half a car in front but of I feel like that's like Minnesotans him. not knowing how to parallel park. People are like idiots when it comes to parallel parking. Well, what kind of car was it? Calling, I don't know, but I can park a Honda. What's your dad's car? The Ridgeline with a huge like piece of wood in the back of it are that I sure use for sculpture. Are you sure you can and park I parked it. it. I parked it like a boss. So. And, 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 and it's not even about the parallel park. Once you get into the spot, move up. Like yeah, you said, no, don't no, leave. No, no, no. What do you depends, mean no? What? It depends what kind of car it is. It doesn't depend. No, it doesn't. If I have my brand new oh, you don't want anybody to hit, car, you don't want anybody you to hit you. I don't want car. anybody. If you had an eighty thousand dollar car, you would not be parking you on the park street. You would be valeting it One, somewhere. Two, no. If they if they too scratchy, you can exactly. You can pay. You can no, no, have no. Punched you're not parking no. on the street though. If you have a if you if, have if that I, if expensive car. If I'm shopping, if I'm shopping, I'm parking where everybody else is parking. You exactly. No, you're not. If I'm going, if I'm going to the. For once, to the mall? For once, I agree with Zeke on this. If I was buying fried rice from Wong's Kitchen, because <laughs> no matter how rich I get, yeah. I will eat, eat fried rice from Wong's Shout Kitchen. Out to that walk. Sure. I will park my car yeah. where everybody else parks. I'm not going to fucking drive 10 miles down to find a parking lot. For what? Like, it's because you can pay somebody and get over it. You can pay for the parking ticket. You village park, walk Village you, Walk does not have Valet. Village Walk has Valet. the Radisson across. I don't think it's Radisson anymore. It's been a while. But it used to be Radisson where the like Applebee's was and everyone used to go mm-hmm. get the like 9 I o'clock like appetizers half off. Mm-hmm. Everyone knows what I'm talking about. But you go over there and you still have to pay the meter. And you if you don't pay the meter, the guy comes through like every five seconds and goes through and it's like your meter's not paid, ticket. Bam, just like that. If you're going like anywhere else besides campus, 
it's kind of okay. Like downtown on a Friday night, you have to be kind of wary about They'll it. Throw your car but everywhere else, <laughs> everywhere else, everywhere else outside of the University of Minnesota, you need to park reasonably. Do not take two spots because there's not two spots to take. You there have one car. Spots. It depends take one spot. how expensive my car is. Mm-hmm. If I'm driving in a sixteen thousand dollar Honda, I don't mind as much. So why don't in, okay? So how about mm-hmm. this? Instead mm-hmm. of taking yeah. two spots. At the front of the store, if you're mm-hmm. so worried about someone door dinking your car, mm-hmm. park in the back where no one parks and walk up. Why should I for inconvenience walks. myself? Yeah, not, for not. so that you don't take the risk. You realize that, that even if you, even if you park in two spots, someone could still be rude and, exactly. and by the door dinking. We, we, we assume that he's found the spot between two cars. No, though. no, no. First of all, most places that you can shop, there's a valet either at the Mall of America or there's some place there's like no a valet. restaurant. Yes, yes, there is. There's there a is. restaurant. There's there no, like, is. If you go to Rosedale West Mall? End, if you go to shops that, if you go, no one shops no, at no, Rosedale. No, no, if you Mall. have like an eighty thousand dollar car, I do. I shop at Rosedale. You Look, do. I would you don't still have an eighty thousand dollar car. My life wouldn't change if I had an eighty thousand dollar car. It would change. I don't know what you guys I'm still going to Marshalls. Eighty thousand dollar car. Eighty thousand is not that much. It's not that much money though. Much. A Range Rover is, is almost eighty thousand. People that Range Rovers in Rosedale Mall. It's not that right? much. It's not that much. Yeah, that's true. But I, in this I think modern day of, of financing, you're still you know, making payments. Leasing, you're still making payments. You can you can get an eighty grand car. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. if you're if you're leasing, then mm-hmm. who cares if they door ding it? I do. I, don't I still do. Exactly. I have to drive around in it. Still do. I mean, I work yeah. in Edina, and I go to Whole oh, Foods. Free. I do. I <laughs> really show off because I work there. It's not like I live there, weirdo. But there's people, and I go to Whole Foods for lunch frequently. Oh, I go to Whole Foods. <laughs> Whole Foods is cheaper than first, Jimmy John's. First and all these other places. Ladi no, I'm saying like problems. I go there, and it's like it's like twelve oh five because I went just went to lunch, and like these people and like their Range Rovers and their ginormous SUVs because they need it for one person. They don't have kids. They just drive it because it's a that's huge. None of your business. No, that's not your problem. None of your it's business. It's not. But if you can't drive and park your car, it's my business because there's an available spot next to it. But you are like up on the line. Line, crossing the line because you can't turn into the car, the parking spot properly. Mm. What about that's the problem? You someone's, parked in the back. Someone's getting bored. What, what parking back? What about people like who, who stare? Oh, is that is that that's uncourteous? Really that's creepy. Depends. Like to me, it's, it's creepy. To me, it's not like a guy staring at a girl. That's night. a good. That's a good example. Exactly. So would you would you be offended if you're walking with your girl downtown wherever mm-hmm. and another guy just stares at her oh then we're fighting them I, the, my, right? the only offense the only offense that would come into play is if my girl stares back then I have a problem with her not That's the guy what do I care but is that but is that is that uncourteous though. though he's right how like for me I I don't care because I'm secure in my relationship that if my one, girl is staring back at him one. cool like have you have your go no, ahead no that's that, that's not what he's saying but no, no, I, I know what, what I'm saying what, is that it, what it's he not, means is that the, the, the it's a reflection that my girl is attractive, girl is beautiful enough, exactly. So that's what he's saying. So. Yeah, it's, it's a reflection that she's attractive yeah, and she's girl desirable is enough. So men want something that's desired by and other they, men, and that they can have. But the second she makes it available to them, then she can go ahead and go to them. Right. Is what, what, do, what do you think? Would you be cool if you were walking down the street Stephanie with your man? Does not and think a, she feels. Yeah. Okay. What do you feel about she's that? A woman. Well, go ahead, love. <laughs> I'm like pretty much refraining from like a few of like curse words. I am kidding. Okay, what this, are you, like buckethead dude across the FCC. What do you um, feel? I think FCC. I think it's really difficult as a female to try to ignore all of that all the time. There's some instances where you can be like, okay, it's just some guy. Thank you for the compliment. Like I was walking into my job today and some Domino's guy, some old gray haired white dude was like, ageist. He, I don't. It doesn't matter. I don't really care. You're sexist. Anyway, but the dude comes at me. He's like, you have really beautiful hair. And to me, that's like an appropriate compliment. He didn't like talk about my boobs. He didn't talk Gross. about anything hey. else. He didn't talk about anything inappropriate. He said, you have beautiful hair. I said, thank you happily because the compliment was appropriate. So if, if some, said you some guy, boobs, well, I'm still talking. This is if some thing. guy sits there and like basically undresses you with your eyes, it's, it's very like, it's disconcerting. You feel... You feel like, especially if it's a grimy ass dude, you're like, what? Excuse me? Like, first of all, no. And they'd be like, I can treat you better than your man. And you're like, man is standing next to you. You're like, wait a second, no. So, so some, of, some, of the times, some of the times you can like fight it off and just be cool. Other times it, it gets in your face and you're like, this is too much. And normally, I, especially if they try to touch me. Don't touch me. I don't know you. I don't know where your hand has been. I think that's... I normally will like 
really get like indignant at that point. I'm like, that's I can't full even blown know though. This. That's that's. I think that's, that's full blown definitely assault. yes. Yeah. Why are you touching people? Why are you touching people? Uh, that, I mean, that's crossing the line. It that's, is. That's way too much. But we're, we're talking. We're, we're talking about, about just eyes, just eyes st- get, getting like stared I said, at. You can you can handle a certain a certain level, but at some point when you're walking, all you're doing is walking by. So when is it too much then? No, it's it's when you, you feel uncomfortable. Like when you your walk becomes like you, it almost it it feels like you're in observation. That part, mm-hmm. like as a female get to a point where you're like, this starts to get slightly uncomfortable because you're on, you don't know me. Okay. So my, my, my argument to that, my pushback to that is going to be, it depends on the attractive level of the man. Of the man. Let's be the, honest. I, and, and I'll Let's take that, I'll, I'll, I'll take that from bullshit. your own comment that you said, especially if he's some creepy, some creepy, creepy that, ass yeah, yeah, that to you. Creepy if, ass if, if, dude. if a, if a dude like Morris Chestnut, mm-hmm. Boris Kojo, no, 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 or me, about guys, <laughs> you're going to, no, 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 like I, I get, I get what you're saying to a certain degree. And yes, I agree with you to a certain degree, but also a guy with that level doesn't need to, to stare at me like I'm a piece of meat walking down the street. There's a certain mm-hmm. way that you feel as a female walking by any guy, no matter what you look like, no matter who you are. If you feel uncomfortable, something unsettles inside of you instinctually. That's a problem. But it doesn't matter and, who you are. And, and my argument to that, my argument to that is because you're fine in, in your head. You, you're like, oh, this dude looks really good. So you're never gonna get to that uncomfortable level. You it's it's you the can. it's the Trust short because, because it's the short you can. Can. it's a short hot belly, no. <laughs> belly guy with the comb over too, that you're like, Ugh, why is this guy looking at me? Yeah, he was an no, ugly no, no, dude, it, some like homeless said, guy. Any, any, guy gross. any guy that you might have thought was handsome uh. or charming or anything like that, they cross a the line to make you feel uncomfortable. You get to a point where like all of that dissolves. But if, if, if all he's doing is just staring at you and he has a little half smile on your face, First of all, you're going to I feel flattered. Yes, you is. On, it depends on the environment. Mm-hmm. Again, it, is, it depends on the environment. The environment. And then yes. how, it could be in church. How, how you will feel you will feel, feel, yeah, yeah, it could be in church. Well, the mall. At the, the mall, mall. you feel good. In the mall, no, not at the mall. You get, I you'll go to Panda Express with him, yo. Get some orange chicken. Panda Express, get some orange chicken. I am not interested in you. You know, the worst for me is when people try to hit on you early in the morning. Like, it is 7 a.m. No one that is... That is how I beautiful you are, up. though. No. You just woke up, too. But for some so reason, that, your, 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 your beauty breaks really, that morning. Do you really morning. think that I want to, like, screw you? No, I don't. He's I really don't. You. Please, well, he just please, wants to screw you in the evening. Please save, <laughs> save your, save your <laughs> breath. He's putting Everything. in work I'm in the morning for the evening. No. Well, I think that that means that staring and that and we only that we only we only covered like a man staring at a woman there's there's other types of staring that can be considered like staring at you know someone who's disabled staring at an elderly person in fact like staring at an elderly <laughs> person when the person. door when the <laughs> door is open and they need help holding the door, oh, get the door. is that is that like get the door get the door Hey. What if you don't want to get the door? You that's that's that is very no, no, this is yes. where me, this is where me and Zico part ways. No, no, no. I'm 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 not if saying it's, if it, if I'm it's an older person, me. you get the fuck. No, I'm not saying it for me, but like what if I want don't want to get the door? Why would you not want to get the door? Because he thinks he's getting pranked by that what bad grandpa from Jackass. <laughs> no, it's not. No, it's no not. but I'm I'm like no, Zeke's we we live we live in America. Life. Like if somebody doesn't want to get the door, you're gonna look at you're gonna yeah, look at him sideways. Just because like, you're American. No, no, just like. If you're um, on the like on the bus or on a subway, yeah. and a pregnant woman or an old woman is there, I would get up like automatically. But some I don't people, think so. Some, I don't think so. What people, if you don't want to get up, Zeke? That you shouldn't. But that's oh, no, no, that's no, that's what I'm arguing. But, like, but some people, where's the courtesy of, in, in that? In, but, in, but, but think about it. Like, okay, this person's pregnant. That's cool. I didn't put them in that state. My feet hurt like their feet hurt. No, we don't. I just got no, off work. No, we don't. No, no, but I'm Which telling work? you. I'm telling you, like, this is... This, where, 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 where you running in work? This, 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 what, around this, work. this is what, like, Get out of here, the mentality of some people could be. Like, I just got off work. I'm tired. They look tired. I don't I didn't, I didn't tell them to get pregnant. She's not saying she carry on her back, on your back and walk around. She's yes. open the door and, and then I walk through first. No, 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 no. I'm talking about like a seat on the Scenario bus. Scenario like a seat on the bus. Of course, let us sit down, man. I'm what like, if my, feet, if my feet hurt just like, like in my mind, just like her feet hurt. You're a fucking mad, guy. In your mind. I'm not talking about me. Oh. I know. He's oh. saying like, that's, that's some people's like, that's mentality. Some people, like, okay, wait, wait, wait. To play the devil's Let's just clarify, though. If it was you, you would give out the chair, If it was me, I would get up. Then I'm not arguing with you anymore. If it was me, I have no argument here, No, but I see other people's I see other people's thoughts. I didn't tell you to go get pregnant. Nobody told you to get knocked up. Whose fault is that? 
yeah. go find a seat like everybody else found a seat. Nobody, nobody, nobody told you to get old either. Fault. Yeah, nobody. It, it, it happens. Yes. Oh, okay, yes. Jump like I'm tired. Place. I'm tired. Somebody else will, will let you up. I'll, I'll let you sit. Uh, I don't know. I think yeah. that's discourteous, man. Yep, yeah, it is. I, I think so. I think a, pregnant, is. a pregnant woman, you know, is, a pregnant no, woman. Is, no, is, nobody, is, no, be, nobody told you to spread your legs. It should be part but of our oh. social contract. It's, it's like a legal thing too. It's yes. like they it should be part of our social Why? contract. It, what Why? Is legal? You, should, you should not go to jail. And you should not be. No, no, no but they have but, they have handicapped spots in the no, beginning no. or disabled spots in the beginning. She's front. not disabled. No, that I'm kid, saying, like, that kid could be the next they, Jeffrey Dahmer. No, that's, 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 that's besides the point. What do I that care? That is besides that the point. That is so the point. beside the point. I'm talking about right now. If and the world, if, world if, is wait, overpopulated. If you're, young, if you're a young, is? able-bodied man and you're sitting down and a pregnant woman is in front of you, you fucking get up and give her the I 100% Fuck all this, Fuck all this bullshit about, uh, I'm tired, you just spread your I, legs. I 100%. I 100% you're how a about, fucking man, I, you get your ass up, you stand, and you let her sit down. How so about Isn't that? part of like the manhood you guys were talking about? It is part of the manhood. Thank you. How about holding the elevator for someone This is someone the other who's... side of the man who you don't see. This is the side that will die for his no, wife. No, no, no. I think I appreciate that. This is the side that will get his ass no. for his wife. This kid was sitting, he was sitting in the like hallway of my building and he was like some teenager on his phone. He sees me walking in, literally jumps out of his seat and opens the door for me. And maybe like I need smash, to pass man. in my life. Well, I'm just, no, smash. he was like 16. Thank you. 16 years old smash. Oh my God. Um, but anyway, like <laughs> if I have to give up my feminist <laughs> card to say that I oh, still 16, like it when 16. guys open the door, I still like it. I think it's like you, you courteous can't both ways, lady. to open okay. the door. I think you're a sexist. No, no, no. I think you're a I think you're a feminist and you want to take care of your own Difference. shit. And you're a young woman. Fine, you're a feminist. I know feminist. you're like blurring things together. Hey, you can't have it both ways. We can't hey, 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 hey. And pick you up and all that shit. I put our jacket down for you. I didn't say that you need to put your jacket down for me. I said I appreciate when someone opens the door for me. I think anybody would. Especially, especially even, even you chooks if you are holding well i shouldn't use you because you're no, he's you, you, for the sake of argument you argue with me but if you have your hands full and someone comes and opens the door to see you're carrying i open my a, own door man exactly i know you say that for the sake of argument you appreciate that you appreciate that yeah i would appreciate it, you know, yeah that's what i'm saying exactly. now hold on i want to go back to the the whole um guy staring at girl because staring at girls as they walk by because I think you were sharing a story or earlier, Stephanie, about a guy, a girl who was walking by and handing out cards. cards yeah. yeah. She was like all over BuzzFeed and like Cosmopolitan. I don't think the card is effective. I think if you're trying well, to... Well, tell, tell us the story, story about okay. what happened. So there's this girl who apparently got tired of... She works downtown or she lives downtown or something. And she was getting really tired of being catcalled. Ass. On the streets by guys that were like attracted to her or just wanted to get a rise out of her, whatever their reason or motive, I don't really know. She got annoyed to the point where she thought it was gonna be productive enough to go print out like business card size memos to these people to say it's rude to, you know, call me like this when you do this to me. Nobody this is cares. what happens. Yeah, exactly. Energy. No Nobody one cares. cares. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Was it the same guys that she was seeing every day? I'm not sure if it was by? every day, but she said that she like could count like how many times, and it was a freaking amount just walking down the street that she was getting like called out and just wait till hit you, on and just whatever. Just wait till she getting catcalled. Yeah, I know. Just wait till I it know. stops. I just, to me, and then watch what's happening now. So it's counterproductive. I would, I would yeah. never hand call? some guy who was trying to hit on me a card saying you're being rude. Please don't do that. Like, excuse me. Is that Clearly, all the card said, or did you it just slap him in the was, face? Like, they said various. I think she had like printed out like different. I like heard about messages. this story on Fox 9. Yeah, it was on Fox. It was, it was on, thing. like it, I said, it was on BuzzFeed. It, she's it, it's an stupid. idiot. You're, you're wasting your time. No, you no, she, are. No, she, you waste your time and your she's money. She's unemployed. And the ink and the paper. <laughs> yeah, no, you can she's unemployed. That. Seriously. When you're unemployed, you have time for shit like this. It's do you, so ridiculous. You see, like, when, when you have a job, you can't do this shit. Somebody told me this a long time ago. Cards. When you're well-fed and Ooh. most of your problems are taken oh. care of... Then you, you have to solve the world's problems to, just bre- to come up with just random issues. That is when you get that's what you're Like I, I'll give you an example. If it was a if it was a woman that doesn't get cat called, mm. that doesn't that doesn't mm. get anybody to look at her, like the she would not be feeling she like goes this. In that cleanse, well, she, she was gets smart enough. She call. knows not to right. engage oh. in it. Like if you, it, literally, if you're she's smart like, enough, I woke up like this. Like, oh, yeah. <laughs> you flawless, flawless, flawless. Like it's first world problems. It is people. Too many people think I'm attractive. Oh boohoo! Yeah, oh, yeah. Let me let me give him yeah. a business card that says, "By the way, you're being rude." Excuse I'm, me. And the guy, like, she recorded it. She recorded the interaction. She's like, "Let me give you 
need this card. And I'm like, you're stupid because you're handing this card acting like it's going to be like effective. It's not going to make this guy less of an asshole. It's, gonna it's not going to make you not Lowry. hear something the next day with a different guy. You're being an idiot. When you're handing them paper, they're probably use it to wipe their ass and they'll move on and call it a day. Instead of that, you're, th- you're thinking that you're going to... No, I'm so harsh. completely serious. Card because is harsh. Y'all, y'all I wouldn't have, use it to wipe my I ass. I hope one day that maybe <laughs> some you know guys near the saloon or the gay 90s sit there and hit on you guys and you want to be like... It's hey, happened. Let me it, hand you a business card. That's lame. It's happened. That's lame. But, no, but, but, but we are men though. We deal with things different than women do. No, first of all, you don't have to deal with a situation where some guy who is big and looming is like sitting there trying to like make you feel uncomfortable. Right. So, 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 I, I, I don't agree with her handing cards to the guy. I think that's real lame. Mm -hmm. But at some point, there has to be some responsibility shift to the guys who are like being inappropriate. But that's like asking a child to drive like heavy machinery. It really is. It's like asking like a child, like your son. Oh, here's my Jag. Go ahead. Here's the keys. Go ahead and try to drive it. Like literally, that's like the level of like aptitude that you're dealing with. These guys aren't sitting here like geniuses. They don't actually think this girl's gonna turn around and be like, "Yes, can you come fuck me, please?" They're not thinking that. They're not thinking that at all. They want to get a rise at the girl. They think her butt is cute. They think she's got a certain amount of like level of hip to you know waist ratio, whatever. I think and that they're like, "Hey, let me get your number," but they don't actually think it's successful because it doesn't happen. But I think that that's where all cat calls and and inappropriate, um, Com- uh, inappropriate hollering, if you want to call it inappropriate that, inappropriate behavior. Sta- it starts from that creepy it, behavior. And, 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 it starts and from that. And the difference. That what I'll tell you. What I'll tell you is that. I'll, let's just generalize it as thirst. Thirst doesn't continue if it doesn't work. Yeah. If catcalling and all that doesn't, doesn't work, work, it will not happen. Men wouldn't do it. Human beings do what works. First it's true. Well, That's a you, good point. You can. You can. I don't know. I, get, I don't know why it became the voice of logic. I get what you're saying. Something's happening today. Purple shotgun is on point today. Wow. There's qualities, and we're just having. There are. We're having. We're having this conversation earlier. If if. Your thirst can be quenched by peach whiskey. That's gross. one thing. Exactly. It's gross. It's but nice. if that's what you're willing to settle for because you're that thirsty, you can have all the peach whiskey that you want. Still, but if at you want to deal with the same some time, top shelf every heavy bar, level, Every bar that I go to, and peach whiskey is my ish, every bar that I go to, they keep on I'm like, hey, Reach can for I have it. some peach Ask whiskey? They have for peach whiskey. Pay for it all, they all have day. It? Cool. All day. Apparently, there are enough niggas that don't have it. You don't have it? I'm going to go about my day. Some people are willing to pay for it. So if you're willing to pay for peach whiskey, you can yeah, pay but for that, peach that, whiskey. Yeah, that, but that, that's not the analogy. The analogy is if you enjoy peach whiskey, you're going to go to any bar and ask if they have it. So that asking so is, is, equivalent girl, to the ca- is equivalent to the every cat, girl, call. Gonna every, cat call. Every girl is the bar. And I'm going to cat call you to I, see if you have peach whiskey. I think this girl should have been smarter. Right. Hmm? But this girl should have been smarter and knowing that, one, you printing off cards, you coming Wait, up with and, some witty response. And, and I'm not even talking about the wasting, girl anymore. I know, but you're saying that anybody, any guy is going to reach out. He's going to go fishing. It doesn't yeah. matter the right. lake. He doesn't matter the lake. It doesn't right. matter the ocean, whatever. Right. He's going to go fishing. And the girl needs to realize that, first of all, you are what you're fishing for saltwater fish in a lake. I'm sorry, it's not going to work. And that's what the girl should realize. First of all, I'm clearly not into salt water. Right. I am fresh water. This is totally not going to work. Okay, she got, didn't. She's like, let me hand you a card and let you know. <laughs> yeah, that you lost there, there, there's many There's many women that get cat there called. There are many. Why do we have a bro with isn't there, there, <laughs> there, there, there are many women that get called cat called in downtown. And the oh, majority sorry. of them do a great job of keeping their headphones in and or just continue moving. walking. Yeah. And, yeah, not, and, and just... Chalking it up as another incident in the day. Chuck yes. The juice is Chuck the juice. The fact it, that really, she it took me, it. Yeah. The well, she took it a different level. Maybe she got irritated because, like, I don't, I don't respond negatively mm-hmm. unless it's like offensive negatively. or if I'm irritated as hell. Like, if mm-hmm. I'm pissed off already, I don't want to hear you talking in my ear. Or it's morning. Yeah, it's clearly in the morning. I'm irritated. I'm not a morning person. But I'm saying, like, if you're sitting here talking about, oh, like this and that, or like, like I said, the guy today he was like, your hair is beautiful. I'm like, well, that's a really weird thing to point out, but thank you anyway. Like, I said, thank you. I'm going to start using that. Smiled, yeah, your hair smiled and went on my shit. way. I didn't, like, cuss him out. your boobs. <laughs> what if this guy's like, girl, you look good. Let me take you away from your man, blah, blah, blah. First of all, again, it gets creepy, and girls only creepy. They don't like creepy. I well, feel like I, I feel me. like I feel like it goes exactly. I feel like <laughs> it goes back to what you were saying, yeah. Zeke, about 
the fact that the reason why that continues to happen is because it does work. But why would you work. want some thirsty For girl? Some... Like, you oh really want to stick because, in that? Because, because we're, this is how men and women are different. Oh, yeah, I guy. forgot the master key thing. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> That's episode two. No, episode hey, two. you know what? You know what? I'm sorry. You're right. You know... You're right, Stephanie. I think another thing that annoys it's me... It's recorded now. Mm, Thank you. I think that another thing that annoys me when we talk about courtesy stuff is when people are trying to be overly courteous, courteous, courteous. and... It's you can tell it's fake. Minnesota nice. Minnesota, Minnesota nice. nice. Let me give you an example. Aggressive. Thank you. Let I me give it. you an example. Nice yes, demon. it's not even passive aggressive in this example, you but that is that is another thing. So, I got back from Nigeria. I go back to work the next day, and I get a call from an employee of of Ameriprise that works with me, a coworker, and. She picks up the phone. She realizes I've been gone. She knows she knew I was gone. So she she basically says, oh, you're back. Welcome back. I can't. You know, how was the trip? You know, did you enjoy it? Yes, I didn't. I enjoyed it. And then she was like, I can't wait to talk to you about it and and hear about it. I'm excited to hear about it. It's now been three weeks since I've been back. (laughs) and She hasn't. She hasn't even stopped by my desk or given me another call. Someone's bothered. to really no, I'm not, I'm not hurt. I'm not, I'm not, but I'm how dare her? <laughs> well, people are just Get, genuine. No, it's I'm always not. Like, it's Get always a nigga's annoying, hopes high though. and they shoot him down. I'm not. Get I'm a not. nigga's hopes high and shoot him down. I'm not. I'm not hurt Fucking about it. Fucking bitches. Man. I'm not. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm not hurt. No, 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 no. Let's get mad, man. I, I, I feel you. I feel it's, you. Pain, it's man. an example of <laughs> unbelievable being overly courteous. <laughs> When you truly don't care, don't have, have, or have to be like, disingenuous, yeah. or I mean, have to be, yeah, you're right, it's or have to you be. Don't have to be I don't, I didn't, I don't need you to ask me about my trip. Apparently I'm cool. You do. I'm back. I'm cool. I'm back in the regular I'm mode safe. of things. I'm safe. No Ebola. Nothing. Hey. I'm good. Well, it, eight to ten days. How long have you been? Back? I've been back to longer than. <laughs> I've been back three weeks. Oh my god, we, okay. I've been back oh three my, weeks. We'll be spe- we'll be spe- show me space with this guy this time, man. I've no, been back. She no. naked, no. man. <laughs> hey, hey. Okay, guys. Um, I've been back. The end of fixing in post episode four, five, five. I don't even know what episode Cinco. we're on. We're gonna go ahead and leave now before we get Ebola. It's not a joke. No, it's already been eight to ten days. Just like rip is not funny. Ebola is not funny, man. Creepiness no, it's is not, not funny. funny. I don't know, man. I don't. That's something that like. Don't you don't need to be extra nice for no reason. You know, I, I when think, you don't really mean it. I think that is more of a symptom of um, corporate America. Well, and, and corporate America, it's almost a built-in to have like a fake rapport with your not not a everybody. fake to have a rapport with all your coworkers, it's networking. everybody. It's, That's it's all about networking and all about and that. Selling yourself and selling your soul for likeable. slinky. Yeah, for slinky. Yeah, apparently she I mean, didn't win a slinky, it sounds like. You sold yourself for a slinky? No, <laughs> that was a blog topic oh. of somebody oh. that was blogging so about corporate America once upon a time. Anyway, I'm saying that show. certain, I think it extends beyond corporate America because you can go to the grocery store and people want to talk to you. Like, I bumped into this lady, again, at Whole Foods because I go to Whole Foods for lunch frequently. But I, I, I bumped a, into this lady with my basket. I bumped into her and then she ended up being in my aisle when I was checking out. Uh-oh. And she and I was like, I'm really sorry for bumping into you because I was because one, it's really crowded and people bring their kids. It's like, bleh. And two, it's morning and these bitches trying to talk to me and the whole food. First of all, don't, don't put words in my mouth because it was in the afternoon not the morning thank you very much anyway so i'm Boom. sitting here and this Check lady bump. so i <laughs> try to apologize Check. for running into her and i'm like i'm so sorry then she proceeds to tell me about all the stuff she's like oh when i'm doing yard work and do i'm like i don't care about I, that was your fault yard work. no it's no, not my fault i apologize fault. for bumping into her she decides to tell me her life story that she bumps into you things when she does you lawn work I- I don't care. I, I think, don't care about your long I don't. I don't. I think we're assholes. I'm just letting you know that I apologize for running up. into you with I, my basket. She was like a small woman. I'm not a small woman. I, I felt bad but for I running really into think, a small woman. I really woman. think we Africans and African Americans are assholes. Because here this woman is thinking, here's a lady like me. I'm going to share some things with her. I don't want to know. I don't. We're going to be close. Little I don't did need she to be know. Close. I don't know, did she know this is not a I don't know where person. you live. I don't know what your yard looks like. I don't care. I, have, I don't. Hold on, hold on. I'm trying I have, to buy my food. I have, I have, I have the same, to go I have back the same to my issue. Job I don't have this problem. Man. I have the same issue on, on elevators. Like when yes. when I'm when I'm in an elevator, I am. You feel like you need to make conversation. Elevator. People yeah. feel like they need to do it. People feel the need not to have a silent elevator ride. Why? Yeah. They just want to feel that 
space with noise. It's like the white noise. They want to have for them. a conversation. Yeah, you so you're so you're dicks. discourteous. You don't open. You don't hold the elevator open for people when I they're running. That. No, no, that's different. No. This is that's different how I lost my arm, guys. That's different. <laughs> it's different between people trying door to like closed. talk yeah, to you versus reasons. like holding the door. If you see them and the door is like clearly about to close, then you hold the door for them. Yes. That's just being courteous. That's like the parking spot thing. No, However, if it's about to close, I'm not putting my arm in there. Oh, you came up. too that's late. Shut up, guy. On, and there, there's some elevators where okay, you hit the no, button. No, no, I don't want to talk to you. I don't, I don't, no, no. If you hit the button, it'll open up again. No, so it, go it has lasers. It again. has lasers that runs through many. It, it, it can. No, no. Yes, so yes, okay. Yes. The yes. elevators. Button, if you wipe your hand, you wipe you. your hand three. Yes. Yes. Opens up. Have you watched the too much Avengers? The, the elevators in my oh building. If it's about to close and it hasn't closed yet, and you hit the up button, then the doors will reopen again. It's not my fault that you're running and you haven't hit you the button. You can put your hands through it. I'm not putting my hands open. in there. Oh, please. I sit, at the, I sit at the back of the elevator you know, people with my headphones on. Man, Zeke, man. I'm a hero. I sit okay. in the back of the elevator like with my hands on. on. If the doors horse. are closing and I see you running, like I'm sitting in the back. I'm like, I look up at you as the doors are closing. We lock <laughs> eyes. Like, okay, first of all, this is like this. If there's like three inches. Or, you know, I'm not there gonna, are. I'm not if there technical. are like three but inches, I'm saying, lady. I'm like really English. closed and they want... Jeez. If Luke. there are like three inches, that's all I ask. like, oh my God. Anyway, if they're like three inches and the door's about to close, I'm not going to stick my like hand grammar. in there because one, I don't want my hand to get crushed. And two, it's not that serious. There'll be another car. There'll be yes. another if, one. If someone is right there or you see them and they're like making that move, because everyone hates when you run for the bus and the bus drives off without you. Yeah, everyone hates so that funny. feeling. It is so embarrassing. So funny. It well, is so horrible. Because they see you coming. So, no, but I know. They, they, do, they do see you coming. That's what I'm saying. So if I see why, them coming, say no, I will stop them. I'll stop the door, especially if there's not like whatever. Like it's right in the morning. You can get on you can get on the elevator car with me. It's totally fine. Oh, really? In the morning, huh? I think you're not a morning person. Doesn't mean I'm like I would, I would rather. I would rather to go up in the elevator creepy. by myself. Yeah. Creepy. I don't know. If you I, make it, you make it. If you don't, well, I'm sorry for you. So well, it's not, I'm, it, I'm one of those people like in the in like the zombie apocalypse where the last helicopter is leaving and I'm just looking at you. Oh, no, 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 no. That's different. That's I, different. I, will, I will step on your hand. I, don't know. I will step on your I will step in your hands. You're falling down, man. We can't all die. We can't all die. Right? If you make it, if you make it, and I flip the situation reverse. If I'm running late and I miss the elevator, I have no hard feelings. You'd be mad, dog. No, 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 no. No, No, you'd be mad, dog. You'd you'd be mad. There have been days. There have been days where... If the guy... If the guy sees you... guy. I know. If the guy... There have been days... I you. I give a little little smirk of a smile. The only only thing I'd be mad is if the guy hit the door close button. No. (laughs) That would be only mad. No, you would know. You would know if he hits the door close button. Okay, first of all, but you would hit the door close button. So why can't you be mad at someone that does the same exact thing that you would? You know you would do it. Oh, yeah. That's illogical. I know it's illogical. I accept that about myself. you can't be mad at someone that does the same thing that you would. Oh, now it's illogical. I know. Oh, yeah. Now it's illogical. Now that you're trapped in. When... But when, when it's running, when it's me I'm and I'm late, running and I'm and looking like a fool running for the elevator, I miss it. And I miss it. I'm like, you know I'm what? like, hey, it's providence. It's okay. I'm okay with that. Nah. I, hit, I hit the door close button and I wait I, patiently. I don't think I don't think you would be. You'd be like, you're you're an ass. It's happened. Oh, On my Facebook, I put in a new video about consciousness. Really, actually, you guys probably didn't see it. There's a young African American man, about I would say in his twenties. Two older, a couple, an older couple is sitting down in front of him and he's cussing them out. I'm talking about full blown, fuck you, suck my dick, bitch. This is like a seven year old woman. He goes up to her. He's she's a beast. She's not gonna take anything from anybody. His uh, I like crotch, her already. His she's crotch so is right in, in her face. He's yelling at her and he's saying, suck my dick, bitch, and he's mad. Her husband or her boyfriend, or maybe just an innocent bystander, an older man, gets up and tries to fight him, and he swings on the guy, and all of a sudden. <laughs> The whole bus jumped him out of the blue. Jumped the Some guy. Some hero just jumps out. Pop, pop, pop. Right hook. The guy goes down. Two other niggas jump up and they beat the shit out of him. I was so happy. I was crying. Like there were tears. Were you crying? Were you that emotional? Really, really, you that got emotional. emotional. Oh, okay. It's one thing to jump an old man, you okay. know, which is sad. Emotions are but okay when, you, when but, someone's getting their ass beat. But it's when okay you then. put your dick in the woman's face, and yes, scream, they are. Yes, they are. Thank you, brother. And you scream, suck my dick to a seven year old woman. You and you, and you swing on her. Cool. Yeah. I was so happy to see Americans finally bringing back that African form of justice. Is it? Is it the where African we, form of justice? we don't wait for the police. Okay. We beat you ourselves. You know what I mean? <laughs> that's real. Oh, it was a great video, man. I was so happy. That, that's it real. is good. What should they have done? That, that was common courtesy. That, that's that everybody, everybody on the bus to beat the. 
Shit out of that guy. That, that, that is, is common, common courtesy. courtesy. When you lack common courtesy and you break that social contract, then guess what? We put it on hiatus then. We say, okay, then. We're just going to beat you. Okay, then. we'll just, we'll just no pause the whole contract social right contract. Right we'll pause, <laughs> pause it. it. And we whoop your ass. Okay, let me give you a different scenario. A go. scenario where um, someone is actually in the wrong, uh-huh. but hmm. does it does it still warrant that you are courteous to that person who's in the wrong? No. Social. Yeah. Wait, yeah. wait, 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 wait. That's a perfect example. Can I, can I give, the give the example? Let me Stephanie. give the example. Uh uh. Tayao. Let's let's like. Here's let's the see. example. This girl man. You're at the movies. Oh. Mm. Movies. Okay. You walked. You're you're watching the movie. What, do you, what it's, movie it's, are you watching? Uh, doesn't no. matter. It does it, matter. Doesn't matter. If you're going to Chick Flick, it matters. Difference for no. Trip, that's like, not true. Yes, it doesn't does. matter. It could be. Like, it could matter. It could matter. No, it could matter. It could matter. It could matter. What? Let's just say. Thank let's just say it's if a movie. If I had, if I took the time to come to a movie, guess what? What movie I'm watching? Fucking. You want to be there? It does matter. I mean, I mean, it doesn't matter. I'm gonna be mad either way. Okay. Go what about what about continue? Continue. 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 You're five minutes into the movie, uh-huh. I said please. and you don't want to miss a word. Yep, you want me to say please, right? A couple walks by. Yep, up to your row. Yep, they see that there are some seats on the left of you, mm-hmm. and they want to cross your row, cross in front of you, mm-hmm. with their popcorn, their their drinks, mm-hmm. and they want to cross in During front of you. During the movie, or like you're five minutes into the movie. Five minutes into the movie, uh-huh. or you're the previews. F- Oh the movie. God, it's definitely the movie. You're five minutes into it the matters. movie. He's a loo. I already said it. You're five minutes into the movie. Yes. You're trying not to miss a word. Yep. Because this is a very psychologically thrilling movie. You need to catch I'm everything. Capturing, it's Momentum. Capturing. It's a capturing movie. Momento. And someone taps on your. I'm a man. I'm into the song. I watched movie? it backwards. It's really what's, good. What, what's, go Inception. More like Inception. Inception. Thank you. Thank someone you. taps and? on yes. your shoulder. Tom Hardy is. Fine. Okay. Shut up. Go ahead. Go ahead. And they want to cross. To cross. Okay. And they're courteous by yeah. saying, "Excuse me. Let them go. Can we cross?" Yes. Yeah. They're late, yeah. so they're okay. discourteous for being late. Yeah. Stephanie. But they're courteous Shh. by Don't saying, me. "Excuse me. Can we pass?" Exactly. And hold on. They're still hold, pass. on hold on. 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 And Stephanie. There's two of them, mm-hmm. and there's ah, two seats. There are two of them. There are two of them, and there's. There is two seats to your there are two seats. left and right, mm-hmm. and there's two seats on the other side. There are two seats, so they can choose to sit on your right hand side where they and don't not block you. Yep. where they don't block you. But it's the aisle seats, yep. or they can choose to ask to move towards the middle. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. No. What do you do? No, I don't in that move. Situation? First of all, I let them don't, move, ask, don't ask you me let to move go. my seat. You no, see? No, no. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. This is the one no, who is no, so quick not, to no, jump no, no, and say, I'm not, "Let them go, let no, them I'm go." Not no, no, no. My seat. I, no, 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 no. I'm not asking you to move your seat. I'm not. I'm not asking you to move your seat. I'm saying. I'm saying. Do you let them pass? Are you or are you discourteous for not letting them pass? When there's seats right beside you that they can sit in. Why do you need to walk in front of me if that's where you want to sit? You want to sit. That's where you want to sit. Two people and there's two seats on each side of you. Ah, yes. You can pass there are. Side. My I don't God. care. It no. doesn't take that much. It doesn't take that much effort. It's like three to five seconds of you walking by me. Done. If you want to say, can you and so and so move there's when you own, came late and stuff. you don't want to sit on the edge? That's a problem. Stuff. First of all, you're inconveniencing me. That stuff. that's where you cross the line at the movie theater. You're stuff. inconveniencing me mm-hmm. and you're asking me to move in for mm-hmm. no reason besides you were late. That is crossing the line think, of inappropriateness. Now you're being discourteous to me. So now at that point, I'm like, no. Child. If you want to pass me and there's two seats and you have two people, not a problem. If mm. you're saying there's one seat and you want me to move down so yeah. you can sit over there, yeah. not going to happen. That's Screw you guys. I, I think a better example would be that let's say that you're standing in line waiting for um, waiting to purchase snacks. Yeah. And then the two people in front of you, they bought popcorn and a drink, each yeah. of them. Yeah, and for some reason they trip and spill the popcorn and drinks on, on you. you. Then that's a better question. Do you snap out, or do you understand that spill on me? They tripped. It's an that's an accident. Go ahead. But, no, no. There's, go some ahead people, and, there's some people that go, go ahead and snap out. Me. On, on go ahead out. and snap out in the movie theater. 
after the shooting. After the shooting. Outside of the movie theater. If you get to that heightened emotional I think that's level. A better no, example. No, but if you get, if no. get to that heightened emotional level and you don't have a full understanding situation, you yourself are irrational. If you don't know what's going on and you just want to jump to like 10 when you really should be on 5, or seven. you really need to like... But that's ruined your whole experience. Down. You're dripping wet with sticky yeah. soda. Yeah. Oh, yep. Sticky soda. <laughs> <laughs> you have popcorn all over you. <laughs> I'm, I'm sitting here with that. guys. guys. New rule, man laugh when I make a gross joke. And, <laughs> that's and, at, man and at this point, at this point, the, the girl who you're with has covered a soda. Oh, and yeah. she doesn't want to sit and go to the movie anymore yeah. anymore. What but but I think no, 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 no. I, I like this story. What she wanna do, man? <laughs> I think I think I, I think that there's I yeah. think that there still has to be a dis, uh, oh, distinction between accident and just straight up discourteous. Like accidents are always gonna happen. You you can't avoid that. You and I don't think you should be ready to fight someone for a, for, fighting, for, but it, it's you need to. For me, I would express my displeasure. Of course, at you the can situation. do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, and, you can and do I would that. expect some kind of reparation. Yeah, that's real. But but what 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 well, what would you expect? At least buy at least buy, at least buy me a popcorn or something. Really? Chuck serenade, serenade your life. Let me go a little smooth first. <laughs> 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 Welcome to the podcast. Hey. <laughs> we didn't get panties out, man. It's about to get pretty nasty. <laughs> Girls, do not fall for this shit. Just so you know. I'm going to mute your mic if you don't let the guy sing. <laughs> Go ahead and hey, mute it. And Zeke, if you laugh, I will literally you. always you. laugh. I'm not throat. laughing. I'm not I will laugh give you a kung fu punch. I'm not going to laugh throat. this week. Throat <laughs> punch <laughs> for I no reason. Can I for okay, him? Let's go, let's go, let's go. How long, how long will last life? <laughs> Separate my friends. I don't. Don't believe it's fair. He is listening over there. <laughs> <laughs> That's other side, guys. Go ahead and check it out. So much better you know, than Enya, and it's when like you're, when you're driving to work. When you're driving week. to work, you know, on, on the Monday morning, and you feel a little down. Play that song. It always picks me up. Play this song. Other side from California, two thousand Red Hot Chili Peppers. Who's the lead singer again? In case you uh, are <laughs> not aware, <laughs> because of this vocal. Performance from Chuck's vocal beauty, perfection. Thank you. Vocal. In Thank case you're not aware how the song really goes, this is how it goes. Thank you. Fuck you please. <laughs> how long, how long will I slide? Will separate my side. I don't. We got episode six coming up to you. We don't know what we're going to talk about sure. yet. You can definitely feel but free to give us fresh. some topics. It's going to be um, I'm universal. It's going to be timeless. We're talking about timeless. ugly girls. And that's what we go for in this podcast. Is you can pick this up anytime. <laughs> Ug- two years from now. Girls. Two years from and now. And it's going to be timeless. I'm timeless. tired of all this. Oh, women are beautiful. No, Bullshit.
That's no, not, no absolutely not. not. Not all women are. They well, don't take care know. of themselves. <laughs> you got a woman. If you, you want should me know. back, <laughs> you should tweet at Man them and say <laughs> Stephanie needs to come back. Man laugh. Stephanie needs you know to what? come back. Next topic tomorrow. We uh, need Stephanie. Week. Man laugh. Stephanie on F I I P. So yeah, if you, hey, that's real though. If you want, hold on, hold on. Don't hold on. open the hey, hey, Chooks. If you want you Stephanie back, tweet please, us. Please. F-I-I-P. See, the female voice of reason podcast. Thank you. And I'm the male voice of reason. You are the Ebo voice of reason. I'm male. Ebo, please. Oh. Thank when? you. Either way, Grace Wonder. please tweet us. Thank right. you. For We're devolving into. Just guttural screams. Yeah. Yeah. Exactly. It's time to end this. That's right. There's Stop no, there's no glateral this. anything Chill. in and I, and I promise you that there'll probably be more yelling as soon as this microphone goes off record. Yep. But Chill. take care, guys. No Have fun anything. this week. Be safe. Have a great week. Yeah, man. Think about Enjoy. Jojo. I'm glad you're listening. Man.